We'll try, try to get the video on and see if we can get a monkey match on for tonight and end the stream on hopefully a positive note. This monkey deck has just given me so much problems. We're playing it, just everything bad seems to happen. It's like the curse of the monkey. Trade one. So we'll try it again, see what we can find out. It looks like it's, it's buffering a little bit, but not too bad. But tomorrow, just so you know, if you're watching this, I'm going to go ahead and contact my cable provider and get this fixed because I can't have a stream like this where it lags as bad or something's going on with my cable. So we'll end it with Monkey vs. Crane, or if you're just joining us for this tutorial where I'll try to cut the video and put it on YouTube. This is Monkey vs. Crane. I am representing Monkey, and the Monkey tutorial can be found on my YouTube channel, which hopefully you're watching this on. YouTube channel is listed in front of you all over the screen. So. And then we do there is we'll end our turn. And one of the things I said before I love about this game is you never know what deck you'll be playing up against. So this could be a uh, aggro control. Who knows? Could be my counterattack crane. That was an interesting play. <laughs> If I would have had some warriors in play, it it uh, would have been even better. Looks like he's kind of got confused there. So unfortunately, um, when I have these great games with like high end plays and these great combos and stuff, it never makes play. It looks like this video or a video with my opponent disconnects will be the only one that actually sees the light of day. Um, but that should have been misplay. I'm not trying to uh, impugn this character. I'm sure he's a good player. I make mistakes. So I'm gonna play this. Um, gonna attack. I'm gonna be fairly aggressive. By the way, the background music is being supplied by the artist that drew my logo. So you're hearing kind of an acoustic rendition in the background. And much like my stream, he's learning and um, lagging. She flew the lag. Let's see. Um, I kind of want to put board presence on the board because he's really not doing anything. So I'm going to kind of push tempo a little bit. Because I really don't know what's going on. So it's best to just go ahead and try to see what happens. My hair's getting all blowed out. It's like a gray paintbrush went across my head. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting old trying to get this monkey deck to get to see the light of day to see how good, see how good it is. All right, so finally he plays a minion, which is nice. That was, um, let's get edit that out, but we can. So, um, we're going to show you the pokey nature and stunning nature of this deck. And, um, I'm really proud of this deck. Just can't seem to get it all to work out, you know? Um, it is utilizes the monkey tricks it utilizes anti-equipment it's solid it really is it's pokey it has some good control i've beaten top tier shins i played that last tigers game it's all laggy you can see some high level tigers pl player i can beat them all um this deck is good and monkey's not top tier by any stretch so it shows you that, that it's possible to build a monkey deck and be competitive against the top tier decks. You just gotta believe in yourself. All right, so we're gonna use Double Bowman on this card for two reasons. Um, one, because it's just funny. Um, actually, no, we're gonna go ahead. We are going to just let the Bunny Bowman take him out and push some damage through. Because with this monkey deck, you got to take the damage where you can get it. Man, a little bursty there. Um, very unusual for this monkey deck, but when you have an opening, man, you got to just jump all over it. You got to go bananas. Thank you. A little, little crowd feeling the flow. Like, well, it's looking like this thing is actually going to be taped, so I'm like, I'm so excited. And we're going to keep it going. If it, oh, great play by this gentleman with the dive bomb. A lot of people misuse that card. That is exactly what he should have done there. 
Boom. Great play. It's going to do two damage to that crocodile, because that's Farewell, which is the word of the day on Kung Fu Panda's Facebook page. He's going to attack, which will bring it down to one. Um, the game is over, but it was a good play on his part. And we're going to end it here with our legendary card, Master Flying Rhino. And great game. Shows you the lethal nature of the monkey deck in action, lag free, which is amazing. Um, and we will play one more and push our luck. Like that game, push luck up path. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Stop! Yes, I'm old. Ask your ancestors about that game. <laughs> and they'll probably say, oh, pressure luck, great game. So spin that wheel, man, no whammy. Let's see if we keep it going. And uh, let's see if we can actually people watching this and uh, lag not hit us. So here we go. What would, apparently, the only way the game will go through is if I play Crane. So you're getting double monkey action against the same deck. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, I don't really want to do both of these, so I'm going to go more of an aggro build against this particular deck. I kind of know what it brings to the table, so I'm going to... Um, Attack. Likewise with him, he knows what I'm bringing to the table. He will probably attack as well. And there we go. Musical models. Case in point. Puts it in defense. He's saying, hey, you know what, buddy? I'm not going to attack. I'm going to be my own crane. One could say he's being a big bird. You know, it was. Uh, thank you. I, I didn't want to. You know, I'm attacking. Why not? Um, playing a little uh, aggressive and carefree. I'm going banana. <laughs> All right. So this is the uh, this is the time where everything bad has happened to this monkey deck. I've just like the curse of the monkey paw. So, um, we're going to attack, we're going to push the damage, and no offense to question mark, 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 but I am um, kind of being aggressive with him, because uh, this, I am just going to go for it, you know, against a different player, maybe against a high level Shen, I maybe when I'd be so aggressive, and so like, hey, let's go for it. I'm down by six points on the old death meter. But I'm still feeling pretty good. I am going to grab... Um, I'm going to attack. Because I have Monkey's Tail Lash. Close the gap by one. I have Monkey's Tail Lash. So if he attacks me, which I assume that he will... It'll bring him down to two, and I should be able to clear off any minions he summons out. Um, he plays it in defense, which is a pretty solid play. The Monkey Tail Ash will still be very effective. I'm now down by three, but I'm closing the gap. A couple of different options. Night, bye, Levy. A couple of different options. I'm going to Tail Ash. Does some damage. I am going to draw an equipment card. I'm going to attack and clear it out. I am good lord. I'm going to attack and pull ahead and put some aggression on. Now I'm I don't usually play this kind of uh, aggressive, but I I kind of have some good cards in my hand. I have, uh, if he brings a big minion out in play, I can stun it and combo breaker it. He's playing a board clear. Um, I don't know if I'd use that for a two damage minion. You know, I mean, I, it's a little uh, unnecessary. Because um, I have bigger minions. But, I mean, you know, you, it's a play. Uh, I don't know why he did that. He did the same thing last turn. He really likes the 
making sure the board can't reach up and grab him, I guess. Not sure. Um, I could play this and be defensive, but I'm not really going to worry about it. I'm just going to go and attack. At this point, I think I have pretty much control of the game. And it's lagging. I, I pushed it too far. I try to get two games in. And the monkey guys were like, no, man, you got one good game in. That's all you're going to get. So that's unfortunate. It really is. It's a good deck. But I see it start to buffer. I'm not going to, I'm not going to try to uh, make myself more angry. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, end the stream and contact my cable provider. But there you go. This is a look exactly what I wanted to show you. This is where the monkey deck is so beautiful and works so well. If he attacks that 6-6 six, six against my 2-4, that 2-4 will put a banana on it, which thereby neutralizes it from attacking next turn. So I don't have to worry about it. And so I'm going to push through like it's not even there because he can't attack me. If it goes in defense, I can still deal with it then. So what I'm going to do is I am going to shoot the oh I'm going to shoot this dust at it, and I'm going to um, put this on on this monkey. Well, no, I'm not. I'm trying to. There you go. Gonna attack. Gonna attack. And right now, that six one, if it goes in defense, which it should. Still not too worried about it because I can clear it out. Um, now he's going to attack, not realizing what the card does, and it stuns him. So now that 6 1 is rendered ineffective. If he brings out another big creature and puts it in guard, I combo break it with pig and KO. He shoots an um, attack at my monkey, and he's dive bombing. So he's going with a board clear kind of build, unfortunately, at this point. One of the reasons you want to be kind of aggressive at some points, in case they have a lot of board clears like this, it's really too little too late. You know, it's it's there's not really much you can do. Musical mollusk. And he should have attacked. That was a real bad play. He put himself in danger of getting hit KO'd now. But you know he's learning. So you know you you, you got to learn by playing. You got to learn by making mistakes. Now he's level 24, so he's still probably new to the game. And hopefully he watches this video on YouTube or on Twitch. Trademark. There's always room to learn. I'd be happy to take uh, this this new newer player and teach him the ropes. Um, he goes to Kung Fu Panda's Facebook page. I have a lot of my stuff on there with links to my tutorials and uh, my new self-help book, How to Become a Winner. <laughs> um, but I can make a deck in anything and I can teach you how just to... Four you payments of nineteen ninety nine. You too can play monkey. <laughs> All right. So, um, well, what do I do here? Well, first I can't let that. I don't have anything they could attack. Everything has meditate on it, which is unfortunate. Um, I'll play this as defense. So if he does call in something right away, it'll stun it. I'll combo break the six one to get it out of there. I'll play the Zay Spies, and I'll clear out that minion. So I don't want that. I don't want that one to be tripped by the um, Zay Spies. I'm gonna put the Zay Spies in guard because, um, like I said, if he attacks with a minion, like with that, it'll just stun it. So he'll be putting equipment on it. He stunned his own warrior. Which I mean, I appreciate, you know. And now he put himself in lethal range, which you know, it's a different strategy, for sure. Yeah, you don't see that coming. But I was telling you, like I have some high. Every game I play with high level or or new player, it always comes down to like the very like. So a newer player is going to put a lot of uh, mid level cards that rush in. Without really, sometimes not even thinking about strategy. So this deck, you know, it takes a while to stabilize the board, and it will take damage. It's not a control deck. It's a trick deck. It looks to wear down the opponent. Well, if the opponent really has no 
late game strategy, then it's hard. Against Shen decks, I can kind of neutralize a lot of their cards and win a long game. Against the Tiger's deck, I just hang on for dear life, hopefully pull out a win at the end. So it's just it's always a battle with this, the monkey deck. It's not overpowered like Shen, where you just have cards that answer every situation. You've got to put yourself in advantageous situations and really, to be honest, you play really well to win a lot of games. This particular game, um, I don't know if I played really well. I was really just being aggressive and carefree, kind of. And that's what shows. It's a, it'd be like a, what, 2 to nothing game. Um, well, let's make it 4 to nothing. So I feel a little better. And um, good game. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. I enjoyed it. Those were two looks at Monkey Decks in action against the same player, unfortunately. But if it would have been a high-level player with like awesome plays back and forth, it would have lagged out completely. You wouldn't have seen it anyway. So get what you, you get what you can.